Hi, this is Jim Walker, the Hack Repair Guy. All right, so today I'd like to talk about something that I really enjoy doing, and that is transferring WordPress blogs to my computer. So today I'm going to show you how to set up your WordPress blog on your Mac computer within 15 minutes. Now, in doing this, we only need a few things. We need this really cool software called Desktop Server. Uh, we need WP Migrate DB. Uh, we need a plugin named Adminer. And of course, we need a backup of the WP Contents directory of your production blog. Okay, to start, we're going to download the ServerPress uh, free software, which allows you to uh, actually install a WordPress blog on your computer. You'll pretty much be prompted through the whole process, so I'm not going to cover it in full detail. Uh, but once you go through the installer, because I'm going to try to do this within 15 minutes, if you're in cPanel, you can use File Manager. There's all kinds of ways to compress or back up the uh, WP content directory. I'm just demonstrating cPanel here. Uh, in this case, with cPanel, I click on gzip, and then I compress it and download it to my computer. Um, while that uh, download is, is going on. Uh, we're going to jump over to ServerPress and it's going to ask you a few questions and one of them is what is the uh, name of uh, the blog as you view it on your computer. So in this case the website that I'm going to transfer is actually a test pharmacy website that I put together for testing. So I'm going to name it Pharma. And once you click create and go through that process, it will actually in install uh, WordPress on your computer and then give you a nice link as you see here, pharma.dev, WP admin install. And then once you click the next link, it will then actually walk you through the WordPress setup just like you would at your hosting company when you first set up a new uh, blog. So in my case, I just enter some general information. This information is not important because we're going to overwrite the database anyway, so just keep it simple. In my case, I put pharma, username, just testing, yada, yada, and then I install WordPress. The installation of WordPress goes very quickly, and then once you actually log in, then let's go ahead and start with the first plugin you'll need for this exercise. The first plugin is a WP Migrate DB. Now this is probably one of the best of the database backup plugins that I found in the repository. And truthfully, I really highly recommend the pro version, but I'm going to try to keep everything free in this discussion just to show you how to do it all for free within 15 minutes. Okay, so download that WP uh, Migrate DB and then uh, jump right on over to the tool section and then click on Migrate DB as I show here. And then move on to the important screen, which is this area which shows your current address, the URL. In this case, it'll be pharma.dev. And then the current file path I have marked here in orange. This is actually pretty important because we're going to use this to uh, create the DB using Migrate DB on our actual production server. Now, I'm going to jump over to the production server. As you see, the URL has changed. Now it's farm.tvsecure, etc. And note the address entries. MigrateDB is going to ask for a new address, which is the pharma.dev I copied from my uh, local uh, WordPress. Uh, and then also that path, which is really cool. Uh, that's the most important part of this, and that's why we're installing MigrateDB on both the production and local copy. So once we export the database, it'll go through the process, everything will go through, it'll say successfully completed, and then we are going to do the more difficult part of this whole process. Find the WordPress blog on your personal computer. If you're on a Mac, it's going to be in the documents directory websites. And then uh, just simply delete the uh, WP content directory from your computer version, and then drag and drop the WP content that you have since downloaded from your hosting company uh, to your computer. Just go ahead and put it in there and that's going to put everything into your blog the way it's supposed to be. Your plugins and everything that you need for your blog to function the way it is on your hosting company server. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. When you jump back to the local copy, in this case pharma.dev, what you'll see here is a new plugin and this will be the other plugin I recommend which is Adminer. Let's go ahead and install the Adminer plugin, and as soon as you do, uh, go down to Tools and you'll see a new option called Adminer. Within the Adminer plugin, I would recommend just click Start Adminer in a new tab because that's going to open in a new window. So once you open the Adminer tab, you will then see this wonderful screen, which will literally show you the active database for your blog. 
it's literally right there, which means you can obviously do other things to it, like edit passwords and uh, all kinds of interesting options. Um, so in this particular case, we're literally going to import the database from the download that you did with uh, WP Migrate DB. And then once you click on the import link, choose the file on your computer and uncheck any boxes. You, you don't need stop on errors or show any errors. Once you click on the choose files and then execute, then very soon the import will be completed. And since remember that you're importing the existing database from your hosting company to your computer, you're going to overwrite the entire database, which means that you have to actually re-log in using the same username password that you would use at your, uh, at your production server's hosting company because look what just happened. Boom! That is all there is to it. Less than 15 minutes. You can download your backups using these tools, install, and have your website actually loading on your personal computer. First of all, why would you want to do that? I mean, why not just keep using your hosting company? Well, this is the whole concept of staging. A lot of people will pay $100 or more a month to go to a hosting company that has these staging server processes. And that's all well and good. I mean, that's good for some people. And again, this is really great because it will allow you to work on those plugins, uh, work on your new themes, and do it all on your personal computer without having to do it on your production website. But suffice it to say, if you install a whole bunch of plugins or you upgrade a whole bunch of plugins and it all works, you can then do the same on your production site and likely not have any downtime. All right, well, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a great day.